I'm Nadia Colburn and I want to tell you I used to have a challenge which was I really wanted to write and I would sit down and I would write except it would take me a really long time to get to any writing that I was at all happy with. I would sit down, then I would get up, then I would sit down again, then I would start to write, then I wouldn't like that, I would start over. My critical mind was always getting in the way and it would take me a really long writing session finally to feel that I had hit my stride. So I started to um, offer for my students short writing sessions in my in-person classes where I would just give them a few minutes to write and I would notice it would take them a long time to get started and they'd be really jittery. And instead, I started then to offer them a short meditation before writing. So I would take a singing bowl and I would strike the singing bowl and we'd have a moment of coming back to our body, of centering, of connecting the breath, and of letting the thoughts go. And then after sitting for a little bit, I would give a short prompt and then I would give my students time to write. And what I noticed was that in five minutes of writing, my students started to write these amazing pieces. They would come to me and say, I wasn't able to write anything all week. I'm having total writer's block. And then we would do the short meditation. I'd offer a short prompt and they would write these amazing pieces. So I started to do that practice myself in my own writing practice. I'd sit and have a short meditation and give myself a little prompt and then start to write. And I found I was able to write with so much more ease. And I've not done this now for years with my students. And now I'm offering this practice online as well so that you can try at home. So what we do is I just offer a short meditation and then I give you a short prompt and then you can write. And you can come to this practice with a project that you're already working on or just to see where the prompts take you. It's a really great way to get through blocks and to get right to work with your writing. And I think this is important for all of us, whether we're writers or not, because the time that we have with our own voice and with our own creativity is so important. And meditation helps us recenter and actually listen to ourselves. Because what gets in the way is all the noise of the world where we have other people's voices and all these other stressors coming in and running through our head. And then we start to be very self-critical and we really can't get out of our own way to do the work that we're meant to do. So um, recently I was reading a book called Creativity by the biologist E.O. Wilson and Though he's a biologist, what he said was that the most important thing facing humanity now is how we use our creativity and how we use our imagination. Because we live in a time of such enormous change and vulnerability. And how are we going to meet that change and vulnerability? Well, you might think this doesn't have anything to do with what I do when I sit down and write, but actually it does. Because can we tune into ourselves and really access our inner knowing, our inner voice, get rid of all the voices that are telling us we're not good enough, or we don't have anything to say, or we don't know how to access what we really want to say, and instead center and listen deeply to what it is we really have to say, to what we already know, and take it a step farther with our imaginations to create beautiful things for our world that so badly needs it. So I am offering a free five day challenge. Each day I'll send out a 15 minute recording with a short meditation, a writing prompt, and then supported writing time where I'll just occasionally ask you to stay connected to your breath. And you can sign up completely for free the link is below. I'd love to see you there. There's a private community where you can join in discussion, ask questions, get inspiration, and just message me if you have any questions at all. I'd love to see you there. And whatever you do, trust your own inner wisdom, listen to your voice, take time to recenter, and amazing magical things can happen.